Hey, um, can I speak to Mr. Jeff Bodine? Uh, who's calling, please? Uh, Douglas Kenny. I want to ask him some questions about his racing career for a book I'm writing. Uh, let me see if he's available. Okay. Hey, Mr. Jeff Bodine, um, I'm Douglas Kenny, and I'm a 18-year-old author writing about racing, and I'm wondering if you'd answer some questions about your racing career for a book I'm writing. Uh, yeah, what, what kind of book are you writing? It's a book about racing, NASCAR and the Indy 500. Yeah, what are you, what are you doing with the book? I'm going to publish it. And tell her it's called Life at the Checkered Line. Okay. How many questions do you have? I have a uh, four or three. That's what I'm going to ask. Four or three. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Thank you. What is life like after racing? That's pretty cool. What are you doing today? Well, I just got back from church today and, uh, and uh, just spending the day here with my family hmm. and enjoy, enjoying, uh, enjoying this beautiful day in life that God's given us. Nice. That's really good. What was your favorite win of all the wins in your career? Yeah, that, that's a tough question for uh, for me to answer with your favorite. Uh, you know, my first win was very special, of course, uh, at Martinsville, Virginia, in 1984. Yeah. And of course, the, winning the Daytona 500 in 1986 is, uh, is really what all NASCAR drivers strive to do is win that Daytona 500. So that was a special day. And, uh, but in reality, uh, every every race of one is pretty darn special uh, because they're, they're very hard. It's hard to accomplish uh, being the first, first driver across that finish line. Yeah. When, when you won the Daytona 500 in 1986, you won because Dale Earnhardt, I think he blew an engine or he ran out of gas. What was on your mind when he ran out of gas or blew an engine and was no longer contending for the win? Did you know you had it at that point? Well, that isn't why we won the race. We led the most laps in that race and it was coming down to a... Uh the finish a race between he and I, I was leading, uh, but he, he messed up on his pit stop. He, the final pit stop, he slid through the pits and then they, he left, he left the pits before they filled his tank up with gas. And, uh, unfortunately for him and the race fans, he, he ran out of gas with, with three laps to go. And, uh, uh, because it would have been an exciting finish between him and I, of course. Yeah. Lane Earnhardt, Lane Earnhardt said he was going to beat me, but, you know, I, I, of course, I told him he wasn't, I was going to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll never know how that was going to turn out. But when I saw him run out of gas, I just screamed, yelled on the radio to my crew that uh, he was out of gas. And, and then I started praying. Because I didn't know all the scenarios in his pit stop. I started praying that I didn't run out of gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the final question. 
How did your faith guide you in your career? Well, my my faith, uh, you know, God gave me uh, the talent, gave me parents that allowed me to the opportunity to race. He gave me the talent to to race, and, the, uh, and then he he led me in the right directions in racing and. Uh, where I met the right people, and uh, you know, he died in my career. There's no question about it. I'm a, I was just a, a farm kid from Shimong, New York, and uh, I thought I was going to grow up be a farmer. <laughs> but, hmm. but he gave me the talent and led me to, to be able to, to race and to do it pretty well. And uh, yeah, you know, I thank him for that. He saved me many times in racing and accidents. Yeah. Especially in the especially in the accident in Daytona in two thousand. Yeah, that was There's a no terrible question, crash. No question that the Lord saved me that day. So he's blessed my me my life uh, from day one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well that's all I need to know. Thanks for the quick interview and this is going right in my book. Okay, well, good luck with your book. Thank you. I'll send you a copy of it in the mail for free when it's published. Well, that'd be wonderful. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye.